good evening youtubers and anybody that's subscribed to the channel uh, welcome to the angry Scotsman I'm not always angry but I can be really angry um, so I haven't updated in the last while because uh, well I've been working a, a second job and I just haven't had the time the will the effort or the willpower to do much of anything when I come home at nine o'clock at night and on the weekend, well, I've been battling another gremlin, and it's been going on, I think, three or four weeks now. I can't remember. It's, it's too fucking long. So, my gremlin right now is this 2006 or 2005 Equinox. Right now, the engine is Gandhi. It is strewn about that table. Between that engine and that engine this is the new one that is the old busted and I've got a divorce transmission it's an all-wheel drive so right now I've got a I'm dealing with the stuff that I gotta swap from that one to this one but yeah this is basically an update I've been working on this thing for like I think I going on at least four weeks I've only got basically a day and a half to work on it so yeah, it's just a, an absolute fucking gong show. I've got projects and other things piling up left, right, and center, and this thing is taking up space. I've had the kick max out the door. I essentially got it running enough and able to get it in the gear enough that I could drive it out and back it into the driveway, and then that was it. Um, it has no alternator wiring. Uh, so it can't charge the battery went flat this that, and the other thing I've got it so I can put gas into it But other than that, yeah, it's it's an absolute gong show like I said I've got parts and pieces for this SOB all over my floor I've I've cursed at this thing like the sub floor this sub mount is over there somewhere and they've got captured nuts Back in the day, they used to be on the backside, which was absolutely a whore to get to. And you had to weld them, do whatever you needed to do, heat them up, curse, bitch, complain. Why GM put them back there? And why couldn't they just use a normal nut in a way you can get out to it with a wrench? Fucking one only knows. But it was always captured inside the body and absolutely fucking hard to get at, unless you had a lift. <laughs> Then it was a little teensy bit easier, but still a absolute horror. Uh, this one, the captured nuts are in the front, still just as much of a pain in the ass. However, a plasma cutter and the sheer will and determination actually won out on this one. I had to make the hole just a hair bigger, punch out the captured nut, and it's a square piece that holds a 21 in it, and uh, yeah, heat it up. So lots of weasel piss onto it, and they actually came out, surprisingly enough. So there's some tidbit for you. Plasma cutters do actually help you. Um, yeah, just a little bit more of a relief to get the 21 in there, and yeah, it was all easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This thing's got, uh, I think, 200,000 on the clock, and we're putting an engine in from 175. It has blown head gaskets. And now that I've been pulling it apart, it's also got a front and rear main seal that's hooped. I'm assuming that's also because the water's been getting into the, the oil and filled it right up, and then it just had nowhere to go, and it just pissed it out everywhere. But, yeah, you know, who knows? But uh, future plans are, uh, later on, I want to put an addition, much like the one I put over here, but it took out. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. I've made an addition, uh, a new updated change. Those doors now, I've now got two instead of one. So now I've got one door here, one door here. So later in life, I want to have, this is my long-term project side. So all this shite here will disappear and go somewhere else. So I have a little bit more room to work on long-term stuff like this SLB. Uh, this will be my daily uh, in and out. I'm hoping to get an overhead door eventually, but not right now, so I made it that. But yeah, I've lost the four feet. Um, 
I've still got the doorway going out there, but the 8x8 eight 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 is missing, as we know before. But later on, I want to put an addition here going out 12 feet by 8 feet. I'm talking to uh, the city right now to see if I can even... Well, they said I can do it, but I've got to submit plans, and I'm working on those right now. Uh, i got to get a surveyor out. Oh, boy. And with the scamdemic going on, uh, or plandemic, or whatever the fuck you people are calling it nowadays, I call it an absolute pain in the fucking ass. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, I want to go out 12 feet, and then do 8 feet, and then go 10 feet high. So, basically, it's the sky's the limits, to a certain extent. Um, they didn't say anything about height, but they wanted a certain footage, and I'm only allowed an extra 95 square feet attached to this. So for the way my driveway is sitting and everything else, I think that way would be good. Um, so yeah, eventually, somewhere along this wall here, I'm going to have to uh, build out a door that way. And that will be my new door coming in. And also, we're all... Yeah, this stuff will go. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping for a 10-foot wall. Uh, it'll be 6 inches above this floor, because the way I'm going to build it, I don't want to put a concrete pad out there, because it is... Most of my runoff comes up from the front, and I don't want it in there. Uh, I don't want to flood it every year and have the raw walls rotted out, so I want to lift it up a little bit so all that shit runs underneath it and just goes the fuck away so that's my plan for that um because where it's sitting is actually on the edge of a hill and i've got to do a stairwell down to it and all the other shit and then i've got to make a retaining wall and nah, just fuck um but this is the headaches i give myself um but yeah i've got another bit there and the car that I have out there the, the Mazda 6 for donor parts actually wouldn't even have to move on for the sake of actually doing it but I've got to level the ground in that spot so I can even build it there uh, so that's the plan for this year and since all the building materials are through the fucking roof anyway I'm not even in a hurry to do it but that's what it is so that's the story for there and then uh the buzzmobile stuff now is sitting there and it runs out the door i've got 220 near and a 220 near and i got 120 near and i got my wi-fi there now and then just in case shit goes sideways i've got a fire extinguisher so yeah and then way the hell up near is a camera pointed back at me so i'll be enjoying myself doing this later on and then I've done uh, new lighting outside, and then cameras are here and here outside doing the driveway. And there's a new one somewhere around here outside pointed that way, which will have to be. But yeah, that's basically the update for me right now. I've uh, done some switching around, some cleaning, yada, 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 when I can. Like I said, I've been doing this for this car now for about four weeks and in amongst that before even well even before i started this thing i have had it for a week or two before that so i've had it for a very fucking long time but i had to take the other one down because when you ask the city if you can have an extension out of the garage don't already previously have one that you weren't supposed to have in the first place because they know they know you're not supposed to have that but anyway, I wanted it down anyway. I wanted two doors. And when I asked, I was already planning on taking it down. So it's a mutual thing. It's like, are you taking that down? I'm like, yep. Yeah. So it was, it, it was either that or they're going to count it as the square footage I was already asking. And that would have been over it. <clears throat> it was, it was uh, what the fuck was it? It was 16 feet long and 4 foot wide and came out to 100 150-ish something square footage. Um, 
I was actually over 16. No, it's 20 feet. 20 feet. Because uh, it's 4 foot. Yeah, 20 foot by 4 foot. So it was over the square footage that I was allowed to have in the first place. And no matter what finagling I could have done, because I wanted an extension onto it for the truck, um, I couldn't have that and the new extension and have a decent size. So one had to go regardless. So I got two doors. They work nice. So it works. Um, but I do have a plan that might actually be not a really sneaky one, but it will work as a temporary structure every so often if I need the truck in here for long periods of time and need to be able to walk around it more accessibly than what I've got now. Or even if I have something else longer in here that I need to walk around. <clears throat> I'm thinking of having kind of bifold doors so when they open, they open again and then they kind of, you know, go like that, you know, and then touch each other. And then I can just put a tarp over top of that and then just lock it together and it's temporary because it's a door you can just fold them back in close the door and you're done so legal yes hopefully maybe it's a door so yeah that's what i'm at um oh yeah when you're cleaning up and doing other things like putting your stuff up there from there don't lean on your monitor when it's folded down because this is what happens Ugh. I'm looking for another monitor. What? Ooh, dark. Chromie dome. Um, I guess I gotta get back at this POS. Uh, I figured just mention or update on where the hell I have been, what I've been doing, and what little bit of mind I have left and I'm going out of. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, follow me. Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, and if you want to know more, come back. Check you later.